Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Smith. I'm a pediatric dermatologist and the chair for the Department of Dermatology at UNM School of Medicine. We were asked the question, are children too young to worry about skin cancer? My answer to that would be that fortunately, children are at very low risk of truly developing a skin cancer, including melanoma. However, children learn from us as their parents and families and caregivers on healthy habits from a very young age, which should include sun safety and skin cancer prevention. So I would encourage all families to teach their children about sun safety measures, such as wearing sun protective clothing, wearing sunscreen, reapplying it frequently, and avoiding high exposure times of, of sun. Additionally, families who have a higher risk of melanoma in their family members need to be even more careful about their children's sun protection and getting exams. What do I actually look out for when it comes to skin cancer? You know, when I'm looking at my own skin and looking at a suspicious area, you know, what, what signs or symptoms would be concerning? So there's different kinds of skin cancer. There's non-melanoma skin cancer, which is more common, and usually it consists of basal cell carcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma. These usually show up as a new red or brown bump or pimple-like lesion that just doesn't go away, doesn't heal, or even bleeds. The second kind of skin cancer is melanoma skin cancer. Although less common, melanoma can be more deadly. This is usually your mole gone bad, so these lesions you know, show up as a brown spot or even a red spot or a mole that you've had for a long time. You know, they can be asymmetric uh, if it has an irregular border, if it has multiple different colors, and if it's changing. That's probably the most important thing. If you have anything that's growing or bleeding or not healing, you should contact your primary care provider uh, or get in with a dermatologist to have it examined. Do sunburns cause a skin cancer? Yes and no. Yes, because like accumulation of sunburns during a lifetime will increase your risk of having certain types of skin cancer such as basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. But then, acute sunburns, especially early in childhood or as a teenager, will increase your risk of having melanoma. One of the questions that we received is, what is the most common cause of melanoma? While there isn't one specific cause of melanoma, we are aware of several risk factors that exist and multiple things that we can do to prevent these risk factors. The primary risk factor is exposure to UV light. This can include sun exposure as well as tanning beds. Do I still need to apply sunscreen if I have darker skin? And the answer to that is absolutely. It is a common misconception that those with darker skin are immune to sun damage. However, that is not the case. Although more melanated skin does have some inherent sun protection, it is still incredibly important to support your skin's natural defenses through the use of sunblock and sunscreen. The question is, how often should I reapply my sunscreen? The first part is actually applying sunscreen appropriately in the beginning, right? So usually well before you're outside and before putting clothing on. The recommendation after that would be to reapply at least every one to two hours if uh, one is in more constant sun exposure. And again, to not necessarily rely only on sunscreen, but also good sun protective habits, like wearing sun protective clothing and avoiding uh, high exposure time. 